Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about entering and uh, printing reports uh, with US proof sets. There's a couple of minor differences as opposed to entering um, just a regular single coin. So to enter a United States proof set, you click that Add Coin dialog under United States. You will see a section called proof sets. Expand that, click on US proof set, and you'll see all the proof sets from 1936 to the present day. Now let's say I've, I want to inventory these first six here. Now the only value you're going to see is is for um, a term called price, and that's not really a condition. Uh, obviously, the coins in the proof set could be of different conditions. Uh, in most guidebooks, you just see one value. So we've got the one value price. Click OK, and you can see here the value for all of the proof sets I've selected have been entered. Now let's talk about printing reports. We had a customer with some problems doing that. Um, First of all, to print a quick report, you're just going to click on the print button there. Now, in the title, in the title section here, you can this title is quite long. You can always uh, make the title smaller. Just go ahead and I'm going to get rid of the first few characters there. Um, another thing to notice um, is this is the fields to print. These are all the fields I want to print on the report. Now, if I go ahead and click print preview. You notice that not all the fields are on the report. It stops at defects, and I believe there is grading service and um, collection and grading service were not included. And that's because uh, there's just not enough uh, horizontal room on the on the page to include those two fields. Now, one thing you can do is you can click on landscape. So if I click on landscape preview, you're going to see that all the fields are now able to be uh, included. So let me close out the print preview there. I'll click on close print preview. Um, another thing you can uh, you may be interested in is when you, uh, when you click on this print preview etc button. You notice that the print target section it's gonna it's gonna tell you what printer it's it's going to print the uh, output to, and you get a little change button here. Now, what you can do with the change button it's very specific to your printer. Every printer is gonna have different uh, fields you can change, but Next to name, there's a properties button. Go ahead and click on that. And uh, as I said, depending on the printer, you can uh, print it out in different ways. So, for example, uh, let's say you want every two pages of the report to be included on one page in the in the actual printed output. You just click two and one, four and one, nine and one, etc. Close this out. Click on cancel. Um, one other thing, uh, as you as I'm sure you know, you can uh, output to different, many different formats. Uh, let's select Adobe PDF. Now we get a little options button here, and it allows you to set options for that for the PDF document. So you can set title, author, uh, this kind of compression stuff. And, and you can also secure the document, so if you want to make it so people cannot look at the document without entering a password, you can just click on Encrypt Document and type in the password. And um, here in the Fields to Print section, if you do not want a field uh, to print out, you're just going to click on Unselect button. You can do that for as many fields as you want. If you want to add a field, just click on Click on in the left section and select. If you want to change the orient, if you want to change the order of the fields, you just select the field here. Click on move up or move down. Okay, so um, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.